What's going on YouTube? It's your boy St. Clouds coming back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about questions that a lot of people ask is, is gatekeeping necessary or good for the artists and the community in general? If you don't know what gatekeeping is, I'm going to give you like a small little rundown. It's when people don't want to tell you thing, basically the sauce. That might be with clothes, music, getting drugs. You can gatekeep anything, bro. Now, I wanted to get into gatekeeping within the music community, more so the under ground community a lot of people participate in this gatekeeping it'll be a lot above you ask a motherfucker the name of a song they be like nigga suck my dick don't even tell you the name of the song and i don't want you gatekeepers to be in hiding i want you to raise your hand type in a comment right now if you be gatekeeping some artists now if you raise your hand or type in the comments just know you are the biggest dickhead on the planet and that's okay that's okay it's not wrong with that at least you're admitting that you a dickhead but before we start calling these people crazy crazy names let's go into the reasons and the psyche of a gatekeeper the same as jeff hardy did yeah. this chop of glitch are like door he trying to run up put him on his ass even these reasons i found to why people gatekeep music falls under these three categories and can be summed up these three things number one they want to seem cool they want to look cool they don't want everyone to know who they are is especially the cringe motherfuckers the main reason why people stop liking artists or stop being very into a fan base because the motherfuckers be cringy in the fan base look at my hero some people might say the opium fan base is cringy fuck mary kill cardi Lone and Ken Carson. I'm definitely marrying Cardi. I feel like he's the most wifey material. And then I'm fucking Ken, bro. Bro, I'm taking him by his hair. It's 50 50. Number two, people say that once an artist blows up, they stop listening and they start falling off as they become mainstream or so and so famous. And the third reason is they want to keep a connection with the artist. Cheaper tickets, they can see the artist more. The artist has a better chance of responding to their text messages or their, I don't know, anything. Thing they, they send them when an artist has a lower amount of fans or engagement with them they feel like they're closer with them so that's why they do you can't listen to him y'all emoji that's the main reason why in a way i feel like that's the most selfish thing you can do as like a listener of an artist to literally keep a motherfucker's music from being heard from being listened to from other people but at the same time i get the reason why they do it there's a lot of cringe motherfuckers there's a lot of motherfuckers that's gonna fuck it up for everybody we've seen it countless times over and over and over when an artist tries to appeal to the wrong crowd and they lose everything but i still don't feel as if it's right to keep new fans from coming in or new people from looking at this artist if you really thinking about it you're keeping this nigga from blowing up i'm not gonna lie because all it takes for artists to blow up is one the one right motherfucker to find him and a couple other motherfuckers just to push him and then he's off to the fucking races look imagine if niggas was like oh gatekeep you from tiktok bro gatekeep that nigga no nah, don't put that nigga. i see a lot of motherfuckers when a motherfucker posts a song of an artist they'll get so fucking upset niggas wasn't upset when yeet was getting posted on tiktok niggas was going along with it niggas was like making all the memes the shit got corny after a while but doesn't everything after a while get corny but like, cloud i don't want people to say i have tiktok music taste nigga if you know you don't got tiktok music taste tell them niggas to suck your dick and all you gotta do is show them a screenshot like bro i've been listening to this shit before it hit tiktok that's all you gotta say it's one response for that nigga i've been i've been listening to this shit and they still think you lying you don't need to be talking to the motherfucker look maybe i might be wrong about the whole situation but i honestly feel like gatekeeping is the most just like the dumbest thing you can do to an artist and as a listener because you're a listener not to burst anyone's bubbles but you don't know what's a hundred percent right for the artist you might think you know you may freaking conjure up something in your mind that how some way this direction this artist is supposed to go it's besides when an artist he gives y'all what y'all want y'all take it for granted anyway it's been countless times where people drop someone or someone tells someone to drop something and then they finally drop it and then it's crickets as an artist it's only what have you done done for me lately not what you have done for me my entire fucking career that's just how the music industry works now if you mess with the video let me know down in the comments and tell me please tell me do you actually think gatekeeping is necessary or is a good thing to do please change my mind i i, I don't really gatekeep i never gatekept a song from nobody even if the motherfucker was like a fucking weirdo i still showed him the motherfucking song but check out my previous videos i uploaded got an interview with dj fat like come on now the one of the goat and yeah i'm out this bitch Let's go.